The old nursing home stood on a hill, dark, imposing. Its silhouette was a stark contrast against the stormy sky, a beacon of dread that loomed over the town below. The wind howled through the broken windows, carrying with it the whispers of the past. It was like something out of a nightmare. Pine Lawn Manor. The very sight of it could send chills down anyone's spine. The manor had an aura of malevolence, as if it were alive and watching, waiting for its next victim. Even the name sent shivers down my spine. Pine Lawn Manor, a place where the elderly were supposed to find peace in their final days. But instead, they found something far more sinister. This place had a darkness to it, a history. The walls were lined with vintage photographs, each one telling a story of the lives that once inhabited this place. But beneath the surface, there was something else, something that couldn't be seen, only felt. And tonight, my team and I were going to confront it head on. We'd heard the stories, stories of restless spirits and unexplained phenomena. We were here to uncover the truth, to shine a light on the darkness that enveloped Pine Lawn Manor, patients complaining of cold, unseen hands touching them. The air would suddenly turn frigid, and they would feel a presence, as if someone or something was there with them, watching, waiting. Nurses hearing whispers in the dead of night. Whispers that seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere at once. They spoke of secrets, of things best left forgotten. Unexplained shadows moving in the darkened hallways, shadows that seemed to have a life of their own, darting in and out of the corners of your vision, always just out of reach. This wasn't just a place where people went to live out their final days. It was a place where the past and present collided, where the living and the dead coexisted in a fragile balance. This was a place where spirits lingered, spirits that had unfinished business, that couldn't move on. They were trapped, caught between this world and the next, trapped between this world and the next. Their presence was palpable, a constant reminder of the thin veil that separated the living from the dead. We were drawn to places like this, places where the past refused to stay buried, where the echoes of history could still be heard, places where the veil between the living and the dead was thin, so thin that sometimes you could almost reach out and touch the other side. Places where the energy was so thick you could cut it with a knife. The air was heavy with the weight of countless souls, each one leaving an indelible mark on the fabric of reality. Tonight, Pine Lawn Manor was our battleground. We were armed with our equipment, our knowledge, and our determination. We were ready to face whatever awaited us within those walls. And we were ready for war. This was more than just a ghost hunt. It was a quest for answers, for understanding. We were here to confront the unknown, to face our fears, and to uncover the truth that lay hidden in the shadows of Pine Lawn Manor. Pine Lawn Manor wasn't always a place of fear. In its early days, it was a beacon of hope and care for the elderly. The manor was a grand structure, standing tall and proud, with its well-manicured lawns and vibrant gardens. It was a place where the community gathered, where families felt at ease knowing their loved ones were in good hands. Locals told tales of a time when it was filled with laughter. Children played on the lawns, and the elderly residents shared stories of their youth. The air was filled with the scent of blooming flowers and the sound of birds chirping. It was a place of joy and comfort, a sanctuary for those in their twilight years, a place where families brought their loved ones to be cared for. But something changed. The laughter died down. The lights grew dimmer. The once vibrant gardens became overgrown and neglected. The cheerful voices were replaced by an eerie silence. The change was gradual, almost imperceptible at first, but soon it became impossible to ignore. And the stories of the paranormal began. Now it stood empty, abandoned. The once bustling hallways were now silent, echoing with the whispers of the past. The rooms that were once filled with life and laughter were now cold and empty shadows of their former selves, a shell of its former self, windows boarded up, paint peeling. The grandeur of the manor was now hidden beneath layers of neglect and decay. The walls, which once held the memories of countless lives, now stood as silent witnesses to the passage of time, nature slowly reclaiming what man had left behind. But the stories remained, tales of ghostly apparitions and unexplained phenomena. The manor had become a place of legend, a source of fear and fascination for the locals. 
whispered from one generation to the next, each story more chilling than the last. The manor had become a part of the local folklore, a place where the past and the present seemed to intertwine, a constant reminder of the darkness that had taken root within its walls. The once warm and welcoming atmosphere had been replaced by an oppressive sense of dread. The shadows seemed to move on their own and the air was thick with an unspoken fear. We pulled up to the gates, rusty and overgrown. The entrance to Pinelawn Manor was now a foreboding sight. The gates, which once welcomed visitors with open arms, now stood as a barrier, warning all who approached to stay away. A sign warning trespassers hung crookedly. The words, faded and barely legible, seemed almost unnecessary. The manor itself was a warning, a testament to the horrors that lay within, as if it even needed to. The path leading to the manor was overgrown and treacherous, a stark contrast to the well-maintained grounds of its past. Every step we took was a reminder of the passage of time and the decay that had set in. This place was a warning in itself. The manor loomed before us, a decaying monument to the past. Its once grand facade was now a crumbling ruin, a stark reminder of the impermanence of human endeavors. We were about to step into a world most people wouldn't dare to enter. The air was thick with anticipation and fear. Every creak of the floorboards, every rustle of the leaves seemed to echo with the voices of the past. And I, for one, couldn't wait. The thrill of the unknown, the allure of the supernatural, it was all too enticing. As we stepped through the gates and into the darkness, I felt a shiver run down my spine. This was more than just an abandoned building. It was a portal to another world, a world where the past and the present collided in a haunting dance of shadows and whispers. Stepping inside Pinelawn Manor was like stepping back in time. The air was thick with the smell of decay. Dust caked every surface, and a heavy silence hung in the air. It was the kind of silence that pressed down on you, made you feel like you were being watched. The remnants of the lives once lived here were scattered everywhere. Wheelchairs sat abandoned in hallways, beds stripped bare, personal belongings left behind. It was a haunting reminder that this place was once someone's home, someone's sanctuary. As we walked through the darkened corridors, I couldn't shake the feeling that we weren't alone. Every creak of the floorboards, every rustle of wind through the broken windows sent shivers down my spine. This place had a presence, an energy that was both alluring and terrifying, and it was calling to us. The architecture of Pine Lawn Manor was a testament to a bygone era. The element of the building was designed with care and precision. The manor stood as a silent witness to the passage of time, its walls holding stories of the lives that once thrived within. Walls now creaked under the weight of dust and decay. The floors once polished and gleaming had seen countless footsteps, from the hurried steps of children to the measured pace of the elderly. Now they were silent, save for the occasional groan of wood, a reminder of their former glory. It was beautiful in a tragic kind of way. The decay, while a sign of neglect, also added a certain charm to the manor. It was as if the building itself was telling a story, a tale of grandeur and decline, of beauty and decay. The peeling wallpaper, the cracked windows, and the faded paint all contributed to this narrative. We moved from room to room, each one telling a different story. The rooms, though empty, were filled with echoes of the past. Each space had its own unique character, its own set of memories. As we explored, we could almost hear the laughter, the conversations, and the footsteps of those who had once inhabited these rooms. A room where a kind nurse might have comforted a frightened patient. The walls of this room had seen moments of compassion and care, of fear and hope. The bed, now covered in dust, had once been a place of rest and recovery. The room, though silent now, still held the essence of those who had once found solace within its walls. A dining hall where residents gathered for meals and companionship. This hall, with its long tables and empty chairs, had once been filled with the sounds of clinking cutlery and lively conversation. It was a place where people came together, shared stories, and built connections. Now, it stood empty, a silent reminder of the camaraderie that once filled the space. Now, they were just empty spaces, 
The rooms, once filled with life and activity, were now silent and still. The walls, which had once echoed with laughter and conversation, now stood mute. The emptiness was palpable, a stark contrast to the vibrant life that had once filled these spaces, haunted by the memories of what once was. The manor, in its current state, was a repository of memories. Each room, each hallway, held the essence of the past. The air was thick with the weight of these memories, a constant reminder of the lives that had once thrived within these walls. It was like the walls themselves were closing in on us. The narrow hallways, the dark corners, all contributed to a sense of claustrophobia. It was as if the manor was alive, its walls closing in, trying to keep us from uncovering its secrets. The oppressive atmosphere was almost tangible, a constant reminder of the manor's tragic past. We were walking in the footsteps of those who had come before us. Each step we took echoed through the empty halls, a reminder of the countless footsteps that had once filled these spaces. The dust on the floor, the cobwebs in the corners, all spoke of the passage of time, of the lives that had once thrived within these walls, both the living and the dead. The manor, in its current state, was a place where the past and the present coexisted. The memories of those who had once lived here, both the living and the dead, were a constant presence. It was as if the manor itself was a living entity, holding on to its memories, refusing to let go. The atmosphere was thick with these memories, a constant reminder of the lives that had once filled these spaces. Like and subscribe to the channel for more spooky adventures. Happy hauntings.